Um, do I want to take... No, that would be kind of ugly. I think I'm still going to give this to New England. And then we're going to pop it. No, we can't. <laughs> Give the south to New England, you sick bastard. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, in that case, I think I need to take another chunk for myself. And then I'll give the rest to New England. And if they wish to reform the United States, they can do so. Whoops, can't do that. There we go. Dominion of Canada took nine states. New England took 26. West Indies Federation took three. Pacific states have been annexed. And they immediately formed the United States. All right, so does that change their... <laughs> They're immediately saying, I want my independence. I'm America. Yeehaw. Oh, dear. <laughs> Is this going to be the third slapdown? This might well be the third slapdown incoming soon. <laughs> Alright, let's go and teach the Mexicans. Who is the boss? It's me. I, I'm, I'm the boss. You're going to attack that. You guys are going to deploy here. And going to go for here. Whoops, wrong type. That. I basically just want the Mountaineers to do the really, really mountainous stuff. So we'll have you attacking this, and then you lot should be able to set up a line here. And I want you to just charge like crazy down there. Listen up! Okay. And... Go. I know I'm also at War Central America, but one thing at a time. Let's deal with Mexico. Alright, what next? New naval officers gives us naval doctrine, carriers, naval aircraft, battleships. Do we want to focus on the RCN? This does give us a ridiculous 20% ship... 20% bonus to ship construction speed and dockyard construction speed. Or do we want to focus on the army, which is land doctrine research plus 20. We've already got it. Uh, supply consumption minus 5, planning speed plus 20. We are mobile warfare, so it's, it's not that useful. Or we can go for this one, which is ace generation plus 25%, airbase plus 25%, 10% cheaper aircraft. We get a lot of aircraft already. I think we are going to focus on the RCN. It's just such a big bonus. Yeah, we'll do this. Of the three divisions of our military, the Navy is the one which requires the greatest attention. If we control the seas, then we control trade. And we can prevent invasions from being launched against our shores. Plus, controlling the seas and controlling the trade is just good business. And we can now see what Yarrow is all about. So Yarrow is better cruisers. It is a good thing that we waited for for Yarrow, because we are using a lot of cruisers. Um, so Yarrow shipboard as it is. Okay, so now we can start researching cruisers. 
Union of interest, maybe. We can't do it until they've split away from us. Might just have to annex it all. It's entirely possible. Am I dealing with any resistance? Uh, yes, in the Sultanate of Egypt. But they're dealing with it pretty quickly. That's good. Union of Britain, dealt with ages ago. And then Quebec doesn't actually have any unrest. Okay, we're good. Why are we going down Mexico? Because Mexico is in the third international. And we are already at war with them. Before we were at war with anything else. Before we were at war with America, we were already at war with Mexico. How's the marine production going? Slowly. All right. Huzzah! Marshall coming in with a 15 month resubscription. Thank you very much for that, Marshall. And of course, everything that you do for the stream, for the channel, for the moderation, like you're, you're awesome. <laughs> I think I already kind of embarrassed you with saying how awesome you were yesterday. So I'm just going to say you're awesome. So thank you very, very much for that, Marshall. And keep doing what you're doing, because you're doing, you're doing great. So thank you. I don't own Egypt. No, I own Bahrain. I own this island. And also Suez now. And we've got that bloody music bug again. Go away, March of the Eagles. All in. Oh, tanks. No, no, no. I don't want you doing all of this. The whole reason I put you on this coast is so you're not going through the mountains. Drat. Alright, convoy sailing. That is another technology. Let's get the convoy escorts. Not that we've had any problem with that, frankly. Let me just go and take that out. Where's the other yes, unit supposed to be down here? I guess it's you. Off you go. Did you ever leave port? No. Oof. These Union of Britain units are weak. Helvetica Commune is ca uh, capitulated. So that's Switzerland out. That's uh, France out. Now it's just the Union of Britain and Mexico. Although of the majors, it is just the Union of Britain. So once we've dealt with Mexico and Central America, we will be able, I think, to go after that. In the meantime, it looks like the uh, West Indies Federation has actually cleared up Venezuela, attacking them. So hopefully they can launch some kind of invasion, especially now that they're going to have access to Texas and all of Texas's oil. Like, they're going to have a huge amount of industry coming in, which should help them elsewhere. Okay, that is all of the air doctrine finished. Good stuff. Ship design. Let's let's get this going. We definitely want you. We want you. Oh, we need better radar. You know what? That makes sense. We do want better radar as well. Yes, sir. German East Asia has capitulated. Oh no! Against who? Japan? Yeah. Well, when Nanjing died, I'm not that surprised that you did too. A second peace with honour. 
The Second World Creek, it seems, has ended much like the first with the fall of France to expect forces and the collapse of the international efforts to uh, across much of the continent. The Union of Britain has once more been left battling for its very survival against foreign invasion. With German forces unable to gain an effective foothold on the island, the British resolve shattered. Republican leaders accepted calls for an armistice with Berlin in sight of full German military parade. Today signed a formal peace treaty. Although not the total victory that some German high command might have hoped for, the international has been hollowed out with the loss of both the Communards and the Republican British. The Kaiserreich remains triumphant in the West, for now at least. We, however, are still at war with them, right? No. I didn't piece them out. Actually, because I never used this decision, does that mean I can use this decision? No, it's not there anymore. You are there right at the bottom. Oh, you're right. Oh, I see. They've been kicked out of the Third International. Well, that means the Third International has no major powers left. Iceland, technically a major. Coming to France, a Norwegian Union. Uh, let's do a quick save so I can see how much everyone has actually participated here. France has done 6%. India's done 12. Well, actually, that's not that war. This is the important one. So, Spain's done 17%. France has done 18. Uh, Austria's done 41. Then against Baratia, this is going to be... Wow, Princely Federation's actually done more against Baratia than those guys. Interesting. And there's the piece. So. Well, obviously the coming of France goes to France. Who am I doing this piece for? Everyone. Yeah, including Germany. So I think that France is actually going to get a little bit carved up here. At the very least, Marseille needs to go to France, otherwise it breaks their focus tree. Alright, 10,000 points, that should go. So I think the Lorraine Plateau is going to go to Germany. I think that Switzerland is going to go to Austria. Where's Austria? What's your flag? There you are. Switzerland's going to go to Austria. Because I'm pretty sure it was Austria that was fighting over that, mostly. Um, France. Oh God, I'm going to be doing a lot of scrolling here. Is going to get the south coast, at the very least. Wow, 3,000? Oh, because of Switzerland. Uh, Belgium is going to get French Hainaut. Two Sicilies... is going to get Tuscany, Romagna, Marches, and Umbria. So, 
Sardinia is going to get Piedmont. And then Italy. I should have given them Romania. I'm sorry, Italy. You kind of got screwed out a little bit by two Sicilies. I can even find your flag. There it is. Looks suspiciously like Mexico. Norway is going to go to Sweden. In its entirety. Not true. I wish that this was cut in half about there. Well, these bits can go to Finland in that case. Um, Iceland. Iceland's going to go to me. Because we were actually fighting for them, and I'll probably release them as an independent. Then Mexico... ...is in large part going to go to... ...Costa Rica. Actually, Mexico I might just... Mm, what should we do with Mexico? Oh, Mexico can go to Spain. That's actually a really good idea. I like it. And that just leaves the Commune of France, which I'll need to find a way of uh, splitting up. So I think that Germany will want a bit more. We'll say that Germany is going to take that. Austria is going to get Upper Savoy. This is not a peace. This is an armistice for about a few months. And then the rest of France? The thing is, I do want to give Paris to France, and if we have this as like a little island, I mean, we could actually leave it as a little island. Basically turn it into the Berlin situation. You know what? That's that's interesting to me. We're going to have a Berlin situation. Oh, can't do that yet. Need more points. So avoid to Piedmont. I don't want to give too much to them because then the Italian Federation is really going to feel left out. I'm, I'm kicking myself that Romania didn't go to them.
Don't give Paris to France without the rest of France. It will mess up the focus tree. Oh, okay. In that case, maybe north of the Loire to Germany, south of the Loire to France. I think that's fair. Now, Roussillon is going to go to Spain. No, not the legation cities. Spain! I actually quite like that. Okay. Germany took 11 states, Flanders took 1, Spain took 14, uh, Finland took 2, France took 13, 2 Sicilies took 5, Sardinia took 3, Sweden took 4, Canada took 1, Italian Federation took 1. Yeah, Romania is the only one that I regret here. Romania should have gone to Italian Federation. But the rest is fine. Is there a way of quickly doing that? Giving Romania to the Italian Federation. Console commands, I mean. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That is a beautiful peace deal. I'm really happy with that, actually. That, that would be an interesting Europe. Continuing with that, I mean, it's still only 1942. We've still got another three years till the tech tree runs out. So this is by no means over. All right, let's go and let everyone recalculate everything. The other benefit to us is the fact that we don't now need to conquer Mexico. We just need to go and deal with Venezuela, which we should be able to do. Venezuela, how many troops do you have? You have got about four divisions left. Everything else has died. Oops. Well, in that case, I'm going to plan a naval invasion from San Juan. And we're just going to go straight for Caracas. Caracas, even. Not Caracas. Okay. Uh, in the meantime... I think... Oh, bloody hell. The naval invasions have begun. Um, we're going to shift our armies over to here. And get you ready for the invasion of Britain. Oh, we're still at war with Central America. Um, let's leave one section of you guys to go and deal with them. That's going to be your job. Fate of Iceland and Greenland. Here we go. I was going to just re release you. Again, you need to be properly guided by us, but I'm quite happy to release you. 
And I never had a decision about what to do with the USA. I guess because I'd done it before. What the hell happened to the USA? Um, it got shrunk. <laughs> it really does just look like a shrunk USA. <laughs> I hadn't properly zoomed out before. <laughs> it's like Canada stepped on them. <laughs> Sweden Norway form. So it did. That's a cool flag. Oh, Union Jack eat your heart out. That is a nice flag. Oh, I like that. That's really good. Do you have a focus tree? Um, I think that this is just Sweden. Yeah, this is just Sweden, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to see something which refers directly to Sweden. Uh, Lance Stormen, there's a Swedish flag right there. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, Swedish fighter reserve, that's the Swedish tree. Alright. Um, is my navy doing anything yet? You know, anything productive? Nope. I don't get why you're not leaving. Is it really down to recon? I mean, it might be. Right, when do I get my new cruiser? 63 days. And then I've still got to build them. You know what, let's just... Let's be a little bit silly. We're at the stage of the game where we can do silly. Let's just surround the British Isles with destroyers. And we'll just use them as spotters. Very, very expensive spotters. Mordred Viking simply taught the US not to piss off the Canadians. Yeah, pretty much. New England demands home rule. New England provisional government, now that it has established this military and structure, has demanded to be granted home rule. Some members of the Canadian government are taken aback by the tone of the demand, seeing as the Canadian government is what enabled the New Englanders to avoid the chaos rampant in the rest of America. Though others, perhaps rightly, point out that unless Canada's ambition is to govern Americans as colonial subjects, there is no reason not to give New England what it seeks. Um, unlike the rest of America, we like New England. New England actually stayed true. Plus, this will allow us to use the uh, Union Focus, and I'm very curious as to what that actually does. So I'm going to allow it. Attention. That... don't know. We still have units from them. They're still a puppet. 